Scott Morris. I agree with that, and I think there's a ton of uh, people, professional forecasters, who've actually branded fourth quarter as going to be the biggest quarter of the year. Um, and then I think that there's some, uh, you know, additional factors that come into play. I th think that all what we're continuing to go through and see, like right now, we were just at uh, almost six percent um, with an, uh, an average conventional 30-year fixed, and now we're almost. Uh, well, I think today we we broke through an average of seven. I don't. I think part of that is due to what we're seeing uh, with uh, the Fed and this debt ceiling argument, and people, uh, and not just people. I mean, other countries, large institutions, not being comfortable owning uh, U.S. bonds until they say, say, "Okay, okay, everybody, we're going to pay your, we're going to pay our bills," and and then they'll be comfortable buying back into the debt. Um, and then at that point, you, at the moment that that happens, you'll see. Uh, uh, five to eight basis point move in the 30 year and probably a half a percent move will dip back down to six and a half or better uh, on 30 year fixed. Uh, but I think that's just the, the beginning of the story. Um, we've talked about it a little bit off camera and I, I kind of dip a toe into it uh, here and there every week when we're here. Um, I think that there is a bigger event coming that it's, it'll be, and it may not be one singular thing. It may be a lot of things that end up happening that, uh, we're, everybody likes to think that things move in this linear fashion, but they don't, especially in the bond market and especially in rates. Look, look how quickly everything moved down when the government put their, their foot on the pedal uh, during COVID. We, uh, we moved within four months from almost 5% rates to uh, three and a half. So it's a one and a half percent move. In the course of the last 30 days, we've had a full 1% swing. Things will move faster and they will be more dramatic and they'll be driven by the default of zombie companies. Uh, the, uh, uh, some, as soon as we begin to increase a, a jobless rate, we're going to see individual defaults or, or properties pushed to market or people who get in trouble and then the face of foreclosure process, uh, even though they have a bit of equity in the home, uh, there's, there's, there's trouble coming and there's just no one knows what that is. And that's one of the things that uh, is probably the biggest concern, but will also be the biggest boon to uh, us moving back into a more uh, advantageous rate market for purchasing homes. I want to